Welcome to the Ways of Seeing audio session from the Sladen Gallery at the Royal Albert Memorial Museum. My name is Dr Jo Gosling, a mindfulness teacher and artist. With over 20 years experience and training in these practices, I'm thrilled to share this session with you. This is a time when you can give yourself a break in your day, a precious pause and focus on the words and sounds you hear over the next few minutes, engaging your curiosity with a mindfulness practice on a wonderful artifact. Mindfulness encompasses various aspects, including bringing attention to our senses in the present moment without judging the experience. This session will focus on the sense of seeing and the senses in the body. When we slow down, it soon becomes obvious how busy our minds often are, as well as the mind's tendency to judge our experiences. So I invite you, as best you can, to allow daily concerns or worries to be in the background of your experience and shift into a way of being that allows you to feel more settled, whatever is going on elsewhere in your life. Today, We'll be exploring an example of a tiny, delicate starfish from the Sladen Gallery, an ocean-dwelling creature whose features you might be familiar with. Before doing so, I'd like to invite you to take a moment to ground yourself. Finding a comfortable position in sitting or standing and allowing your posture to be both relaxed and attentive Soften your gaze and sense the soles of your feet by feeling them on the ground. Now, if it feels comfortable for you to focus on the breath, taking a full in-breath, feeling your chest expand and on releasing into a slow, long out-breath, sensing a letting go in your body, letting your shoulders drop and any tension to drain down through your body into the ground. Enjoy a couple more rounds of in-breaths and out-breaths, seeing if you can feel the air coming in and out of your body. If the breath isn't a comfortable place for you, then focusing on the soles of your feet being supported by the ground underneath. Notice how your body is feeling right now. For this session, see if it's possible to incline your mind in a kindly way towards yourself and your experience. The way you might towards a pet or a small child. Now, with your eyes focused on the image of the starfish, which is about three centimetres across, you might notice that your mind tells itself it already knows what a starfish looks like. Or you might notice how quickly your mind starts to name parts of the creature that seem to resemble something before you've really had a chance to look more closely. The pale shapes alongside each other on the outside of the starfish. Do they seem to change in size and appearance or are they uniform? What can you see with regard to shapes, larger and smaller ones? And what about the spacing in between the shapes? Does that seem regular or varied? lines and their directions, straight or curved. What can you see with regard to colour and shades of colour? Notice if your mind responds with a train of thoughts such as comments or questions, or any emotions, which you might also feel in your body. 
If there are many thoughts distracting you from the visual focus of the starfish in front of you, taking you away from the experience of seeing, then you might notice where the mind has gone. Then try to let these thoughts go into the background. Take a breath in and out before coming back to the sense of seeing. Of course, this image is not an actual starfish, but an image of a starfish. Taking in the entire image beyond the outline of the starfish, you will see that there is a shadow of the starfish. This is interesting because by looking closely, you can explore how different or similar the outline of the shadow is to the outline shape of the starfish. Returning to the sense of your body sitting or standing where it is right now, it might seem that as humans, we have little in common with a tiny starfish that lives in the seas. But, a tiny starfish can be carried around on the currents and movements of the ocean, just as we can be swept along by the currents of life and the things happening around us. We can actually have more agency and fare better when we can find an anchor to hold us steady in the currents and storms of life. One anchor that is always available to us Wherever we are, and however we feel, is the breath. We can lightly rest our attention on it as an anchor to help us come to the present moment and ground ourselves. Or if the breath isn't a comfortable place for you, then dropping your attention down to the soles of the feet is another way to anchor in the moment. So finishing this session with the breath in the body if that's okay for you. Closing your eyes if you'd like to. Notice how your body feels with the breath entering and leaving your body. All the way in until the in-breath turns around and becomes an out-breath. And then the cycle starts again and again. You can either continue for a little longer feeling and sensing this breath or draw this to a close and slowly open the eyes, taking in what's around you. Take a moment to acknowledge that you've given yourself this break, a pause in your day. If you're feeling settled and if you'd like to, you could set an intention to bring this feeling with you to the rest of your day. Expand your awareness to take in the surroundings of wherever you are. May you be safe and well. <laughs>